I don't think there was a single person present who had ever seen that many people in one place at one time. Most of the people were dressed as if they were going out for an evening social. Most of the men had hats, ties, some had suits on. The women were all well-dressed. And then when you envelope that into 300,000-plus people that were standing almost shoulder to shoulder throughout the festivities, it's a testimony to their discipline, their focus, their commitment to nonviolence. And it was an orderly day. It was a crowd that was filled with energy and anticipation and clearly helped define the moment because when it was all said and done, there was no violence. I don't know if many people noticed, but the night before President Kennedy called Dr. King in his hotel room at the Willard Hotel and asked him, please don't speak to more. And Dr. King politely told him, Mr. President, I can't honor your request. I have a moral obligation to do what I have to do tomorrow.